This is Kathleen Wieses from Michigan State University Libraries and in this video we're going to be pulling up census data from the U.S. Census American Community Survey 2017 five-year estimates for some uh, social indicators for uh, cities within a metropolitan statistical area. This is our goal and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. This website is a guide to how to find uh, census data in general. You could Google it to find your way to it. And on the Social Explorer tab here is maybe the easiest way of getting access to this database called uh, Social Explorer. It's a tool that MSU Libraries has purchased for the students and faculty and staff at MSU to use. If you get to this from off campus, then you'll be asked for your net ID and password in order to prove that you're an uh, MSU person. You have the option the first time you go in to create a login. This is not something you have to do. Uh, I just used, you can use any old email address and just some dumb password or something so that when you come here it remembers who you are. And so I did it uh, and uh, the advantage to me is that it remembers data tables that I made in the past if I choose to save them, that is, and I can just bring them up really fast. So that's the advantage of that. So, but you don't have to. You can just say, you know, I want to use this as a guest. So Social Explorer is able to do two things. You can make custom maps and you can also make custom tables. And so in this assignment for Geography 413, uh, we want to make a custom table using data from the American Community Survey, five-year estimates, and we want the 2013 to 2017 data. So I'll click on Begin Report. And this first part, choosing your geography, is actually confusing. I find it confusing anyway, because there's a bunch of stuff in here about metropolitan statistical areas, and it seems like it ought to be the thing you want to do, but it doesn't allow you to choose all the cities within an MSA. It allows you to choose principal cities, and for Detroit, there's, you know, it lists only like five or six of them, Livonia, Detroit, Warren, uh, a couple of others, but um, the Detroit area actually has many, many cities that have a population of 10,000 or more, so that doesn't work. And I've been through all these choices and they're not very good. So the way I think that you ought to approach this is just to make a list instead of all the county subdivisions in your counties of your MSAs and then you pull up all the data and then the cities that are under 10,000 you can just erase those lines and uh, the places that aren't cities like for instance the the townships and the um, unincorporated places and you can just erase that out also. So uh, this is the way I found to do it. You do need to know which counties are inside your MSA of interest. For uh, Detroit, I'm just doing Detroit as an example, we know it's Wayne and Oakland and Macomb, St. Clair, Livingston and Lapeer. And I, I can show you in another video how to figure out which counties belong to your MSA. And so we have to go one by one. I chose county subdivision, Wayne County, all county subdivisions in Wayne County. Add, as I scroll down a little farther, you can see the things that I'm choosing. Another way to go about it would just do all county subdivisions in Michigan and then you could bring up the table and you could erase out everything that wasn't in your six counties. That'd be another way of doing it. Uh, instead I'm gonna just go, not St. Joseph, St. Clair, all county subdivisions in St. Clair. You can see it adding to the list. Oakland, Macomb, oops, all county subdivisions in Macomb, there we go. And then we need Livingston and Lapeer. Let 
Oops. There. There we go. Proceed to tables. So uh, an important thing that we do need is total population in each city. So we can figure out which ones are above and below 10,000. So we'll add that for sure to our list. And now we have some other things that we need. There's a big long list of all these data elements and it's kind of overwhelming. And so what I do, because there's just too many to look at, if you come up here, you can search by keyword and you could just say, I need, you know, median income. And you still get lots of choices, but if we look at them carefully, we can figure out which one we want. And median household income 2017, that is the one that we want, table T57. So I will add that to my list, and we can see them beginning to accumulate down here. Uh, we need, um, yeah, how many people have a bachelor's degree or more? And so this is another thing um, that's a little bit tricky. Yeah, there's two choices here, educational attainment or highest educational attainment. And then there's some other ones for specific populations. But I found what you want is highest educational attainment because uh, it counts anyone with a bachelor's or more in one big group. In this one, you'll get people who got a bachelor's degree and then master's degree is a second line and then doctorate. And you'd have to add them together. There we go, highest educational attainment. The occupation one, also a little bit tricky. There's uh, lots of choices. And I looked at them all. Industry is not right. Occupation, table T50 here, seems to be the right one. Whatever you do, don't choose detailed occupation. Boy, when they say detailed, you get detailed information. Way more than you want. Whether or not you own your home, in census land uh, uses uses the jargon tenure that is whether or not you own or rent your house at that and then median gross rent you can see you don't have to type in exactly what you want you can just type in a single word and it will limit the list to those that have that now we don't want gross rent, we want median gross rent. And there we go. There's all our tables, show results. Okay, so here's all of our data and we're seeing every single county subdivision. It's beginning with Lapeer County and you can see right away in this first little bit, um, most of these are townships so they won't apply and then Brown City has only four people, it says. I thought this was very weird, and so I looked it up, and it turns out Lapeer, or Brown City is mostly in a different county, and the city limits just sort of dip into Lapeer County just a tiny bit, enough so that only four people uh, live there. So you can see that we're gonna be deleting a lot of uh, information from the table, but if you were to page through, you'd eventually get you know, all of the the cities that do qualify also. So uh, we're going to download this so that we can start playing with it. You can see there's two ways of downloading, Excel and Data Download. I'll choose Excel first so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. Here's all our data. And so it sets it up kind of just how we saw it before, where uh, the name of the county subdivision is in the columns and then the data is in the rows. If we instead choose data download, we have to make a couple of choices. Uh, we want percents, that's really helpful, and it downloads it as a CSV instead of a instead of an Excel page. And it uh, lays it out the opposite way. So the names of our cities are rows, and then the data points are columns. So that's the major difference with that. I feel like it's easier to do it this way with the columns and rows, but you may decide to do it the other way. 
There's a bunch of extra stuff in here that you don't really need. You could either highlight it and delete it, or you could highlight it and um, just hide it from view. There, I've highlighted all these columns. I could either right click and delete them all, or I, if I'm afraid I might want them later, I could just hide them for now so they're not in my way. I'm gonna just delete them all. And then we have all these columns of data, lots and lots of columns of data. Make the columns a little bit wider so we can see what's going on a little bit. And uh, now we have some data that we can work with. If you had created a profile for yourself, a little login, then here's your opportunity to save it and next time you log in you'd be able to uh, pull it up again. You just give it some sort of name and, and it will be there for you. If you click this little X right here, then it goes away and you have to start over from scratch.